In this video, you'll see how to validate or roll back your deployment with Amazon CloudWatch Synthetix. With this feature, you can use synthetic traffic to validate a deployment through a continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CICD, pipeline, safely deploy changes, and trigger automatic rollbacks with AWS Code Deploy if necessary. To get started, let's navigate to Code Pipeline, where we already have a CICD pipeline set up. Using the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK, we created a standard CI-CD pipeline that uses CloudWatch Synthetix to monitor deployments and initiate automatic rollbacks in case of deployment failures or degradations in performance. The steps in this six-stage pipeline were created automatically using a CDK Pipelines Level 3 construct. The source stage fetches the source of our CDK app from our forked GitHub repo and triggers the pipeline every time we push new commits to it. The build stage compiles our code, if necessary, and performs a CDK synth. This produces a cloud assembly, which is used to perform all actions in the rest of the pipeline. The update pipeline stage automatically modifies the pipeline if changes are made. For example, if we add a new deployment stage to the pipeline or a new asset to the application. The Assets stage prepares and publishes all file assets used in the app to Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, and all Docker images to Amazon Elastic Container Registry, or Amazon ECR. The subsequent pre-prod and prod stages deploy our CDK application to the account and region specified in our source code. The pre-prod stage includes our integration tests. Let's look at the current production deployment in Code Deploy. We can see the status of our deployments and traffic shifting progress. When we configured Code Deploy, we integrated CloudWatch Synthetix into our development cycle through lifecycle hooks. CloudWatch Synthetix uses configurable scripts called Canaries to generate synthetic traffic to monitor our endpoints and APIs. Let's take a look at the Canary for this deployment. Here are our canaries. We can tell from their last runs that both passed with a 100% success rate. Let's take a look at the first canary. The summary panel gives us a snapshot of the canary's metrics up to the last seven days. The canary runs panel gives us a more in-depth look at each run. So far, no issues have been detected. Let's return to code pipeline and push some code that will trigger a failing synthetics test. We'll emulate an internal server error by hard-coding our Lambda function handler to return a 500 HTTP status code for every request. Our pipeline has already detected the changes and is working on the updates. For the purposes of this example, we'll fast-forward to the pre-prod stage of our CI-CD cycle. The web service is prepared, and deployment is in progress. Let's take a closer look at the deployment. The canary for this deployment is currently generating synthetic traffic to check the API endpoint's availability and measure its latency. This is where the deployment will fail, because the endpoint is returning an error to all of our synthetic users. As expected, the deployment canceled because it failed steps 2 and 3. Let's switch to the canaries in CloudWatch to view the failed run. Here, we can see the status code and description of the failed request. This error should have triggered an automatic rollback to the last known working version of our application. Let's go back to our deployments and code deploy to see how the pipeline reacted. The deployment status shows 100% success at all three stages. The deployment details indicate that this is a code deploy rollback deployment that was triggered automatically. Let's check the canary in CloudWatch. We can tell from the past status in the last run field that the rollback deployment is live and receiving traffic. Let's check the status code received by our synthetic users. Our endpoint is correctly responding to requests with a 200 status code, as it did before we introduced the error. Let's check the response body in API Gateway. We'll run a quick method test. Let's use the get input.
the API endpoint responded to our GET request with a 200 status code and OK in the response body. This confirms that the automated rollback successfully redeployed the last working version of our app and the issue was fixed without causing any noticeable downtime. You've just seen how to validate or roll back your deployment with Amazon CloudWatch Synthetics. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.